Welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm gonna go in great detail and talk about the Ethereum merge, what it is and how it actually affects the Ethereum price and what should crypto investors know about the merge. But remember guys, before we get into the videos, that I am not a financial advisor, so please make sure to do your own due diligence before investing and never invest more than you're willing to lose. With that said, let's get into the video. The Ethereum merge is an upgrade in which the Ethereum network has changed from the proof of work to the proof of stake for blocks and transaction validation. Currently, there is another network running parallel to the Ethereum chain, known as the Beacon chain, which uses a POS consensus layer. When the current POW Ethereum chain merges with the Beacon chain, the blocks on the Ethereum will only be produced through the Beacon chain using its POS consensus model. As a result of the merge, the blockchain is now more energy efficient as the POS mechanism uses roughly 99% less energy than the power-hungry POW mechanism. It's believed that the merge is going to reduce the processing time, lower transaction fees, and help the blockchain in the future. Currently with the Ethereum's POW consensus, you need to stake 32 Ethereum to activate your own validator on Ethereum. This has changed completely after the merge, as rewards will no longer go to miners but to stakers instead, which levels the playing field for the Ethereum community members and network participants. This offers greater decentralization and security, as it is now cheaper and much more easier to run a node in the future. In addition guys, utilizing the POS opens the door for scalability via shredding, which may someday allow for up to 100,000 transactions per second. Investors might hold their Ethereum through the merge, as they believe in its long-term value appreciation. This is possible because even after the merge, Ethereum as a project still has a long way to go before it's considered a finished project when it comes to the overall scalability. Now, Vitlek Gutrain mentioned that the Ethereum will only be 55% complete post-merge, and there will still be much to do in the months-long cleanup period. While there might be small price spikes here and there, the overall price of Ethereum would remain flat in general under this neutral post-merge price prediction scenario. So now looking at the graph, the actual merge took place on the 15th of September 2022, and it's clearly visible on the graph that since the merge, the price has drastically decreased, which is clearly visible on the graph, and it's continuing in a downward direction. Now the big question actually comes is what is gonna happen in the future? With so much volatility in the market right now with different coins coming in, and obviously the stability of the Ethereum is in question now, and that is bringing a lot of essence into the market when we're thinking about Ethereum. What is gonna happen now? All we can do is wait and see. From a user's perspective, there's little reasons to hold regular Ethereum, where the only potential upside would be an increase in the price when they could hold a liquid staking derivative that would boost their prospective profits via the staking yield. Now, project founders have adopted a similar mentality from DeFi to non-fungible token projects. Team across the Web3 have integrated the Ethereum into their protocols, with the behemoths such as Curve and Ava making it even easier for DeFi users to integrate the Ethereum into their investment strategies. So the big question that comes is what should crypto investors know about the Ethereum merge? After years of being on the top smart contract blockchain, Ethereum is now transitioning to a less energy intensive technology. So what does this mean for crypto investments? Some experts say that there is an upside for the Ethereum investors, but it's impossible to say with certainty. Some are calling for the price of Ethereum to rally to upwards to $10,000 while others remain bearish. But it's all purely speculative right now. Many are waiting to see how investors and companies building their tech on the Ethereum platform respond to the changes. If anything, the merge shouldn't affect your long-term investment strategy. It will take a while until everything is in place. And other factors such as increasing regulation could affect Ethereum and other crypto during this time. Instead, guys, use this time to focus on strengthening your knowledge about crypto and blockchain technology. 
and assess your risk tolerance for crypto. Now, experts actually recommend maintaining less than 5% of your portfolio in cryptocurrencies because it is a new speculative asset class. As with any investments, don't invest any more than you're willing to lose. Even as the merge is successful, guys, Ethereum enthusiasts continue to speculate about the uncertain future of Ethereum's price through the macroeconomic conditions and Ethereum's pursuit of decentralized scalability. In the long term, guys, Ethereum could become the most valuable blockchain if it follows through their founder's vision, with the merge being a significant step in the right direction. If you agree with us, or if you disagree with us, do let us know in the comment section below. And remember guys, we are not financial advisors, so please make sure to do your own due diligence before investing and never invest more than you're willing to lose. With that said, if you have not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care.